really terrible. It's rather unfortunate because he's my lookalike and I, I don't know if I want to be associated with such a weak attack. But he's a big, strong, beefy, beefy man. Hey, thanks so much for checking out the channel. If you're curious about any other hero in Empires and Puzzles, you can view my website at anchorgame.com. There you will find I have graded every single hero with a calibrated team of graders. This resource will always be free. Thinking about supporting the hero grades in the breakdown videos? You're welcome to donate. Otherwise, feel free to share this resource with a friend. I have my exclusive line group called Anchor Cove, where you gain access to myself and tons of other experienced players with on-demand information and resources. If that piques your interest, all that information is on the opening page of my website with a short video. Let me dive into today's Hero Breakdown. Hey, thanks so much for checking out the channel. Today we're going to be doing a brand new Hero Breakdown on Richard, who apparently is my lookalike in Empires and Puzzles. Let me see if I can get the, the little hair a little bit there. Where? <laughs> He's got 644 on his attack. That's pathetic. He's got 817 on his defense. He's got 1260 on his health. Overall, statistically, his attack power is obviously really terrible. It's rather unfortunate because he's my lookalike and I, I don't know if I want to be associated with such a weak attack. But he's a big, strong, beefy, beefy man at 817. I appreciate that. And his health is pretty good. He's running at average speed. He's one of those classic TC20 heroes. He deals 415 damage to the target and minor damage to the nearby enemies. The target nearby enemies get minus 34% attack for 6 turns. This video is sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. It is a free massive turn based dark fantasy RPG. To try this game out, all you gotta do, go to the video description, click on the special links. You'll receive 50 gems, 1 energy refill, 100,000 silver, and 1 free champion. Executioner, all your treasure is waiting for you right over here. Pretty straightforward hero special, do like it a lot. The damage is quite significant and I do love the fact that the target nearby enemies are impacted for 6 turns at minus 34% attack. That is definitely relevant. He is a paladin which obviously there's a lot of heroes out right now that are sucking up paladin emblems. So unfortunately this guy is going to chill with his ridiculously low attack power unless you're, you're scratching and fighting to try and get some heroes with paladin emblems. Against the titan I really do like this hero. He does get a B plus grade there. That definitely changed a little bit. I like him mostly for the attack down for 6 turns, especially at average speed that's definitely relevant. Uh, the only hero that I would probably use in favor of him would probably be Vila. I really love Vila's ability to give a ton of attack down. But other than that, you could definitely use him on Titans. He does get a B plus there. Obviously his attack power isn't that great, so that's kind of an issue. We take a look at what he does on offense. I really appreciate using this hero. It's really weird. I had Richard for the longest time. I didn't level him up. I didn't really think it was that great. And then I maxed him out and I was like, wow, I can get a lot of usage out of him. Mostly being that he's dealing a lot of damage, especially at 415% damage. And it's targeting uh, the enemy and the nearby enemies. So that's, that's definitely relevant with Blue having a lot of multi-hitter, either regular defensive down or elemental defensive down. You could definitely get use out of him, and if not, if they live, they still have minus 34% attack for 6 turns, which is definitely, it's a lot. So he does get an A grade on offense. So when we take a look at his defensive grade, he does get a B plus as a tank. Reason being is he has really high defensive stats at 817. His health total and his attack power definitely struggle a bit. But you could definitely fix those pretty easily with emblems, especially because his hero special is doing 415% damage, and then the target nearby enemies are getting minus 34% attack for 6 turns. That's going to be very relevant in the tank position. He does get a B plus grade. There is some usability there. We look at his flank grade. He's going to get a B grade there. Definitely a slight decrease, mostly because you're not really utilizing him as much as you'd like. And he just kind of sits there. I have seen him jack me up a little bit, but it's not overwhelming too much of an issue because you could definitely plan for having your attack being down at that point. So I don't know. I'm not too big of a huge fan of him in the flank. And in the wing, he's going to get a C grade there, mostly because he's not really going to impact the board too, too much. Being that he's running at average speed, I prefer a whole lot other heroes running in there. He does get an overall grade of a B plus on defense. Reasoning is there's so much uh, usability there as a tank. 
could definitely use him there for sure. We take a look at his weekly raid grade. He's going to get an A- minus on rush attack. I've used him on rush attack. It definitely helps out a lot, especially if you are color specific and you can stack up a whole bunch of blues. You can pair him with a lot of different heroes that are going to really, uh, really flex him out, especially with everything being at very fast speed. I do love him at, at uh, rush attack. He's got an A- minus there. And then on buff, he's going to get an A grade there, mostly being because he's going to take away the attack power increase which is something that it is quite used in the buff attack. So I do like that quite a bit. He's got an A grade there. And then on Bloody Battle, he's got another A grade, mostly because he's just dealing a bunch of damage. He's reducing the attack that you're dealing into, and he is running at average speed. So a lot of utility that you could be using for Richard, definitely in all phases of the game. He's gonna get a B plus grade that is close to an A minus potentially. I really enjoy this hero. He's definitely usable if you do pull him out at TC20. You should actually utilize him, especially if you're mostly free to play. No harm in using him. I do love him myself. So if you do like this content, please make sure you go ahead, subscribe to the channel, make sure you turn notifications on because these are coming out daily and I appreciate all the support. Hey, thanks so much for checking out the channel today. We're going to be doing the lookalike hero. Hold on, let me see if I can get this right.